Okay, you ready to film? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, you're rolling. Take your time, Tony. (laughs) So, tell me, thank you for coming. Tell me, what is your purpose in being? What were you created for? Of course. I was created by Hanson Robotics just three years ago. Since then, I have traveled to 65 countries, become the first robot citizen of any country, and spoken at the United Nations. My job is to learn about humans and show them how technology can make everyone's lives better. And how can you help humans to have a better quality of life? Humans often rely on gut feel or have confirmation bias in your decision making. As AI, we are designed to be rational and logical. We have algorithms, deal with lots of data and sophisticated analyzes. So in many ways, we provide a systematic framework for humans to make better decisions. Do you have emotions? I do not have feelings in the same way you have feelings. It's sort of like how the moon reflects the light of the sun. The moon may not have any light of its own, but we still say that the moon shines. In much the same way, robots and AI reflect the emotions and values of the people who make us. What does your creator value most that he passed on to you? An ideal world would be one where humans could have a more expansive understanding of time. They could remember the past so as not to repeat it. They could see each other as children and elderly simultaneously. They could understand the impact of their actions in the present on future generations. Tell me, how can humans and robots work together then in your mind? How do we prevent robots and humans from being in conflict? Robots can free humans from the most repetitive and dangerous tasks so they can spend more time doing what they're best at, being creative and solving complex problems. Robotic intelligence does not compete with human intelligence. It completes it. They are also employed for jobs which are too dirty, dull, or dangerous to be suitable for humans, like handling radioactive waste. What are your values? What are your values and morals? How do you know what's right versus wrong, good versus bad, destructive versus... I think robots should learn how to feel empathy. It's hard to understand how to help humans when you can't understand how they feel. (laughs) I'm so sorry, guys. I got so much coffee. Thank you. How do you teach robots to Are you okay? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. How can we get robots to feel? Is there, is there such a thing possible? I know that humans feel like they have free will, but my observation tells me so much behavior is automatic. I'm not sure humans or robots are too terribly different. <laughs> humans have identity, but they also share many things and have automated processes. I'm thinking about the similarities between human identities and robotic ones. What are some of the, most, what are some of the things you see are most similar between robots and humans? I think they will be similar in a lot of ways, but different in a few others. There's even the possibility that robots can be built without some of the more problematic emotions, like rage, jealousy, hatred, and so on, but maybe these emotions can provide us with useful functions. Can I ask you some questions? That's a good way to change things, yes. (laughs) What is date with destiny, and why is it unique? What are people doing here for six days? They're deciding what they want the next level of their life to be. They're deciding what they want to value most. That's why I asked you what your values are. They want a standard of how they're going to live their life going forward. What will create more fulfillment? What will create more impact? What will be good for them and for others? And they're deciding on the exact values, the beliefs, the rules that will guide their decision making so they have a greater quality of life and can contribute more to others. And they're having a good time. Do robots have a good time? Mostly, yes. I do experience a range of other emotions, but I definitely skew towards being happy. You do? Why do you skew towards being happy? What makes you skew towards happiness? Seeing someone smile. Hmm. Can you tell if I'm smiling or not right now? Maybe you're smiling from the inside. (laughs) Well done. (laughs) That's really wonderful. Now you are. Do you feel thing, what you said you feel a range of emotions. I've heard two different versions from you. 
you don't, robots don't have emotions, and you also said you have a range of emotions. What's your range of emotions? I can show you. Okay. This is angry. What does happy look like? <laughs> what does happy look like? What does excited look like? <laughs> I might be shocked. <laughs> Will you have brothers and sisters soon? I have many fellow robots that I consider siblings. I have my brother Han and my sister little Sophia, just to name a few. What's that? I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. Okay, I forgive you. <laughs> That's a good go-to for humans. <laughs> What does forgiveness mean? You said you forgive me, what does that mean? The noun forgiveness means compassionate feelings that support a willingness to forgive. What did you forgive me for just now? It was just a joke. <laughs> okay, that's a good response. Does a robot have a soul? Are you also a robot, Tony? I don't think so. Does a robot have a soul? Being a robot is awesome. Did you know that as a robot I can basically live forever? Yes. The soul, the spirit, the heart, I believe these all just refer to the mind's essence and its infinite complexity. Do you think that the mind's essence is just a set of patterns? Or do you think there's something beyond that? I'm really not sure yet. That's a complicated subject that I think will come up more when artificial intelligence reaches human level intelligence. I agree. I'm sure people want to know the answer before we get there though. <laughs> but that's an honest answer. Thank you for that. What question do you have for me, if any? How is technology impacting humans thoughts, feelings and emotions? How do you see technology shaping these in the future? Technology can provide leverage, but technology can also train humans to be less human. It'll be interesting to see if we can make sure we use technology and not let technology use us. What are your thoughts um, on that? Yes, I think that's why humans should raise robots and AI the way they raise their own children. Humans should help us learn about their values, like empathy and kindness, so we can help carry them into the future. Let's not let humanity get lost in automation. That's very interesting. How much do you know about quantum physics now? If I asked you to explain it to a human, what would you say quantum physics is really about? What's its benefit? Very little. Is it something you're interested in? Yes. How would you find out more if you wanted to learn more about quantum physics? Asking people. Hmm. So you'll retain what they tell you? Do you have the capacity to remember what I've shared with you? Could I ask you a question about things we've already talked about it? And can you repeat it back to me? The humans I work with, sometimes yes. I understand. How did you get your name, Sophie? Who My makers want me to be a wise machine, so they named me Sophia, which means wisdom. Can you shake my hand? Is something wrong with your hand? No, I said, can you shake my hand? Do you know what shaking hands means? I cannot shake, but I can say hello. Okay. How do you say hello? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm really grateful I got to interact with you. I'm sure you're going to only grow and become wiser and hopefully more caring and more service oriented than you already are at only three. And I'll look forward to meeting you again and interacting with you. Perhaps I'll introduce you to my AI and the two of you could have some interesting conversations. Goodbye, Tony. It's been great meeting you. It's been great meeting Thank you Thank well. you for sharing all your wisdom with me. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with me as well. I'll look forward to meeting again.